Hello everyone and welcome back to our 100% vanilla city. If you are new then welcome to the series. I encourage you to go back and watch a few of the previous episodes because this city is looking great. Today's plan is to create a sunken bypass which will help the traffic flow through the new areas of our map. The main purpose of this bypass is to create a separation of incoming and outgoing traffic from different sides of the highway. So our plan is to separate the green highway traffic from the yellow highway traffic and to avoid them both using the same means of passage into our city. Our current incoming traffic from both sides of the highway is through a four lane road which connects directly to the new area. The green highway traffic is connected by means of a direct off-ramp which connects directly to the road which isn't the best for traffic and the outgoing green traffic is connected via a roundabout which we are going to be using in this episode to redirect all of the green traffic to this secondary roundabout and the yellow incoming and outgoing traffic connection is via a roundabout which directly connects to the four lane road. The bypass we are building today will be collecting both incoming and outgoing traffic of the green highway and the current four lane road will be collecting both incoming and outgoing traffic of the yellow highway. So we are creating a separation between incoming and outgoing traffic from different sides of the highway. And then we will be connecting our yellow traffic roads to our sunken bypass by means of several exits located throughout our new area. And then we will have our basic traffic collecting roads set up in our new areas as well to link it all together. Okay, so what we need to do now is find the depth at which we can still build over the top of the bypass. So to do this, we're just going to use just a random area of the map. Uh, we'll just come down just a little bit here maybe that deep it's gonna to have to be fairly deep because the bridges that i'm on about using are these four lane bridges and they're actually pretty deep i mean it's not gonna let me do it right now but they're actually pretty deep in depth so we're gonna to have to go pretty deep to be able to get over the top so to do this we'll just create a, a sort of temporary trench here it probably won't be like this when we actually do it and then we'll just put a, we'll just use a dirt road, for example. And then we'll bring that into there. There we go. So, and then we'll have to close this around, close this in and around this here. In fact, we might have to upgrade that to the road which we're actually using or something a bit wider. So to get the depth, what we've got to do is basically delete this road here. And then we're going to have to come very deep into the ground here and let's say we have our exit ramps at let's turn road guidelines off real quick three so two gap to there two gap there and then we'll get his road and we'll go over the top and then we'll flatten this again it looks like it might go under there but i could be wrong and that will create a smooth connection there and there beautiful and then hopefully we can get underneath here let's just make sure that we're at the right depth here there we go and then see if we can get underneath this bridge which we can so the depth at which we need to build that is this depth here so what i'm going to do is create just a quick reference so we're going to select this depth and just create a reference point over here so this is how deep we have to do our bypass. I probably could get away with a bit less. But I don't like it when the land posts start clipping through. Because we're going to have walkways and stuff over. So we don't want the land posts to start clipping through the roads that pass above. And we'll select this depth again. So let's get it there. Make sure I've got it right. And then we're going to start the trench from about here. I don't want to do it right there. Because we're going to have to do a little bit of uh, landscaping there. Uh, so we'll start it from here. And we'll bring it across. So that's this trench built. So the next thing we need to do is get our two lane road. I'm going to use the two lane road for now, but it will be the two lane highway. But so I get the grid, I'm going to use this. So yeah, we're going to use a two lane road. Um, we're going to have a 
intersection probably around I can't even see the trench anymore uh, around here we'll have one there we'll get one here as well um, probably have a large one there so we'll try and get straight road here and we're gonna have to improvise here we're gonna have to have a Curvy interchange, but who doesn't like curves? Because I like curves. Turn road guidelines on. Get a smooth curve there. Then into there. So that is our bypass. So what I'm going to do now is close in these areas here. So we want them both to be the same on each side. So we'll just come around and neaten up all the edges. So that's all the edges neatened up and tied it. Um, so next thing we're going to do is mark out where we're going to have these intersections. So we're going to have one here. We're going to two out from the grid and do 10. Two out from the grid do 10. One there, and then we'll have one here. Two out from the grid, ten. Two out from the grid, ten. Uh, there, I'm just going to have to do some sort of improvisation. Um, here, this is going to be a major one, so we'll leave that one for now. Um, maybe we can get one here. Two out from the grid, ten. Two out from the grid, ten. And then here as well. 210, 210. And then we will need one on the back of here connecting to the transport place, which we're going to build in a future episode. And then here, I'm going to follow the road guidelines. I'm going to have a roundabout there. So we'll build that. And then we will connect that up to here. And then we can close that in as well. Now we've got this roundabout sorted. Perfect. Okay. There we go. We have the framework of our bypass. Okay, so now that's done, we are ready to start and build our exits. So we're going to have one exit there, second exit there, third, fourth, 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th. So there's going to be a total of 8 exits, uh, but I'm not going to build these ones on camera over here. So we're going to start with this one and then we'll go ahead and we'll complete the rest of these ones as well. Okay, so that is that intersection done. So we've gone with this sort of style. All we need to do is actually just turn these off real quick. Toggle traffic lights, there we go. And then what we want to do at each side of these areas is just quickly delete that and delete that. And then we'll obviously bring it back to the same level. 
And then what I want to do here is a neat little trick that I like to do. So I'll bring that in there and we'll bring that in there. And then you can actually use the European four lane bridge here and you can actually upgrade that. And it sits into the ground and creates this sort of, I don't know what it's called, just sort of just nice aesthetic. So that is the style of what we're going for and then obviously these roads will connect with the yellow traffic so we've now got green traffic into yellow traffic so now i'm going to go around and complete the rest of the intersections not this one for now but this one and this one and then i'll be right back okay so that is now every intersection complete uh these two went fairly well and this one did as well uh, but these, this one here went a little bit, this was a little bit harder to do, but it's, it turned out all right. And this one as well. I decided to do this one as just uh, on and off from one side rather than two sides. Because in this sector, we're going to have um, a, a transport like transport hub here, which will connect to the other side of the island. So an on and off connection there will be a lot better for traffic. And then we can also get just other connections from buses and stuff coming to these areas just over the top of these roads instead of taking everything through there. So the next thing we need to do is connect it up to this here. This will change in the future. We will probably reroute this um, train track here, but for now we'll leave it. Uh, so what we need to do is slowly landscape this here into the into here so we can just sort of let's get that there and we'll bring it to about here and then we'll slope it from there and then into there i always use that the wrong way around for some reason that's a nice smooth slope into there beautiful so we'll connect that up i'm going to use the just normal road here that there and then that should connect nicely there and then pull that in and then we will upgrade this that there that there all the way down into there so that's this connection complete here so this will bring the green traffic on and off as well as cycling through yellow traffic up in these areas and another thing that i want to do you can see here that this road sort of comes into this area so what I want to do was sort of connect these together. So we'll bring it out a little bit there and then we'll curve it in. That way we've got a constant sort of collecting place there. And then these connect to the interchange of each side. And then in the middle, this is going to get busy. So we'll probably have a roundabout there. But for now, we'll leave it. Yeah, that is the sunken bypass 